welcome welcome we have a premium deck profile for you guys today it is a overlord decklist one that i have been very i've been having a whole lot of fun with and i hope the hope that you guys will have it too so currently we run four copies of lizard general conroe he is a very good card to tutor your necessary overlord name the one with a force marker or not it's entirely up to you what you need it for whether you go first or second and it gives a really essential counter blast uh counter charge when you will need it and then we play four copies of Lava Flow Dragon, a 13k attacker potentially, and also a Great Three Searcher, which is also essential. And then to round off, we play two copies of the new uh, Sentinels that we have from the new BTO1 Legend of the Five Greats uh, booster set. And we play four copies of Heatshot Dragon because I really like his utility on Vanguard Circle, Ditch and Draw, and on Rearguard Circle behind your Vanguard. When you're on your Great 3 turn, especially when you go into Legion, he is a booster that you will have hopefully for the rest of the game unless you're playing against a control matchup. <laughs> I really like this ratio. It's really been fun for me. And I guess you can kind of count um, <laughs> BB Lizzo Soldier Conroe as well as a grade one if you want to he technically searches for any of the grade ones you might need or any uh any anytime you might need it or you can search for a heal trigger if you might need it um my trigger lineup is four heals and <laughs> the rest are crits the rest are critical triggers with one over trigger so that is 15 crits one over trigger and four heals then on to the grade twos. Um, I'm actually gonna leave this here for now. This one is pretty spicy, I like this one. I have Burnerized Dragon, which I've been liking a whole lot because he can pressure your opponent really, really hard because your, your opponent is trying to guard a 32 column with your Vanguard that's gonna be swinging at them three times and they'll be needing to use PGs on those attacks or eating them or G guards and all that stuff. And then Bird Rise comes in with a 40k swing and attack it with three crit, which is nice. And then we do have Igni Road Dragon, which searches your the crosses and add them to your hand. Then uh, I have been seeing the circular diet around recently. We are playing Prowling Dragon Striking, which allows you to play against the Murukoma matchup, who will be playing the uh, elemental Huam, and that's something you'll need to keep in mind whenever piloting this deck. And then, last but not least, we play two copies of the Cots. You could end up with cutting the Dakots entirely, cutting the Dakots entirely, and playing three copies of Burrise, but that's entirely up to you. And then you could like have this be an extra grade one slot, Calamity Towers, or you can replace the Heat Shot Dragons and also play Calamity Towers, but that's entirely up to you. I feel that this deck is more or less, as long as you get your Force Marker and you get into Legion, everything else is, <laughs> everything else is secondary, to be very honest. However you try to finish off your opponent is actually really entirely up to you. <laughs> and then last but not least, uh, I will probably get flamed a whole lot from other Kagura mains, but this is currently what I've been feeling for my uh, Grade 3 lineup. I do have some players who probably, instead of the one Dakot, uh, instead of the Dakots, they probably like play an extra baby Overlord, a regular Overlord. You could also slot in Turnabout when he comes out, I guess, but you need to have more Overlords on the board to make him work. So I don't feel that he fits a need in his deck, really. And I do play two on two of this because you do have opponents, you do have matchups where one of these can end up in your damage and it's gone and you have no access to it. So I do like playing two on two that gives me at least some sort of access to it whenever I'm trying to look for it, be it either via Igni Road, Lava Flow or Conroe. So I kind of like the utility of it. Um, eventually I might test out three legions, but until now, this is what I've been liking and this is what I'll start. Uh, be playing and then this the go to marker you want to go in this deck is force 2 I mean outside of that there's not really much combos to talk about in this deck uh, you kind of just make sure you set up 
with either the end as you're going to ride going second, or you try to ride the cross going first. And that's it. It's nothing really <laughs> rocket science oriented around Overlord. It is basically get big, hit with crit. I used to play Hulk Roar Dragon, but unfortunately, uh, a lot of decks nowadays actually has removal in their decks. And a lot of the matchups you'll be playing against will also have removal as well. So unfortunately, Hulk Roar needed to be put into the wayside. Maybe if more decks come out that will allow you to be able to make use of Hulk Roar, maybe I might try and play him again in a more defensive oriented build, maybe with a couple more draws. You know, allows me to try draw into some heals, stuff like that, maybe. But until then, this is the G-Zone, actually. Here you go. So we have two copies of Ziegenberg. Three copies of Dumjid Valor. Two copies of this. One Purge. One Progenitor Dragon Gilgal. One Zamburst Dragon. And then six G Guardians. Three of them being the Nile Griffin, which offers a whole lot of removal against your opponents. Uh, Advance Guard, which can get rid of some rested rear guards that can pose some threat to you. And then we do play one copy of the Fee Flare. And then one copy of Absalom. The ratio of the G guards can always be changed. I do feel you want to still keep on playing three of these. These are very essential against a lot of matchups. Um, Zomburst you can always remove by uh, cutting down him to two. So you can move this right over here. And Ziegenberg on two I feel is always also going to just be staple. And the Yesa is against matchups where you feel that uh, Dumjid Valor will never ever get off. Because he does need to be in blaze to be able to activate for your restand. This has been it. This is the end. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Sorry about that. So be awesome. Stay awesome, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you all for tuning in and stopping on by. Thank you. Thank you ever so much for all your support and all your kind words. And I'll see you soon.